Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know I am back finally, and this is a tutorial. I am super excited about this look. This is kind of like my semi-glam fall makeup look. I finally, 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 I had this, my table right here is a mess. I finally got my Morphe 35O palette in and this look was done completely with this palette right here, except for my brow bone highlight and that, other than that, every single thing was used in from this sh um, palette. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Um, it's been a while since I filmed, so um, yeah, I might have to think about what I'm saying first. Um, I got the 35O palette and the 35P palette. The 35P palette is a little bit, um, it's a like purpley tone. Actually, you know, I'll just get it. This is, if I can open it for you guys. This is the 35P palette. Please excuse the dog. It's barking at who knows what, probably the leaves or something. But this is the 35P palette. I really, really, really loved this look. Um, especially because I have green eyes. And if you have green or hazel eyes or anything like that, purple shades, purple shades look amazing with green and hazel eyes. So I definitely suggest to get some like purple shades and it really helps uh, the green pop and I apologize I know I said I was going to have like a get ready video up but I filmed it I put it on my MacBook and then something happened with my Final Cut Pro I mentioned it on my snapchat the other day if you guys follow me on snapchat if you don't you should the link or every, all my social media is always down below but I will have it somewhere throughout the video as well um something happened and like it wouldn't pull up and I finally got it to pull up and like part of the footage was gone and then the footage that was there I didn't like how I, it turned out anyways so I just scratched that and decided today is the day before Halloween my husband and my two other kid, my two kids went to go pick up the older one from school, so, and he kind of, like, took them off for just a little while so I could film this, so, and kind of, like, get ready at the same time because we're going to the Yacht Club this evening for, like, a little, like, Halloween thing for the kids, and I wanted to look semi-presentable, so, um, yeah, I decided to just get ready with you guys, and... I am using a few new products in this video. Obviously, the 35O palette, um, this uh, Boots number no. seven by Boots, I think it is. Um, it's the Photo Fix Wrinkle Filler and Primer. So I'm trying this for the first time, and we will see how I like it. I'm not sure yet. And then, um, oh goodness, I'm gonna throw it. Um, and then this Pixie liner in Black Noir. I have only used this once before, the like two days ago, and so I'm trying it out again. So far, the other day I really liked it. It stayed pretty well throughout the day, so that was nice. And then this other product by Pixie, it's the Eye Zone Brightener, and I um, you I used this as well. And then, um, I mean, this is a newer product, but I mean, it's nothing like super, super new. It's just the Anastasia Brow Gel Setter. So, other than that, I think that's it for this um, intro. So, I hope that you guys are happy that I'm back. Um, I know I am happy to be filming this video for you guys so much once I got these two palettes in the other day I've been waiting for like I ordered them when the pre-sale went on and I was like it never actually said like when it should be out and then I called them the other day and they have like a message on there before they actually send you to anybody to talk to and like gives you information to say if you don't get it by November 2nd then you need to call somebody but it showed up yesterday either yesterday or the day before, but showed up on my doorstep and I was like, oh, I was so excited and I had to film like as soon as possible a video for you guys because this palette is so like talked about and raved about. I mean, 
look at it. It is literally like, it's, it's eyeshadow heaven. It's gorgeous, especially if you like warm tones. And there are some neutral and cool tones in this palette. That's what I love about it. There are neutral and warm tones in it as well. So I thought that was off, absolutely amazing. And um, this is the shadow right here that I featured in this look. If you guys can see that. Um, these shadows are so buttery and just amazing. I cannot get enough of them. They're, some of them have a little bit of fallout and some of them don't, but oh, they're just, they're amazing. I am yapping and yapping and yapping. I'm going to stop yapping and let you guys go ahead and watch this tutorial. So if you guys want to know how I got this eye look thin, please just keep watching. So to start with, as always, I am going to be priming my lids with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This really just cancels out any discoloration or veins that we have. Then the first color that I'm going in, this we're going to use this for our blending shade. This shade is very similar to Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee, just hair lighter in my opinion. And I'm just placing that all over the lid as well. And then we're moving to this shade, which is a shade or two darker. And we are placing that in the crease. This is going to be our transition color. And we're just going to go in with a couple of different ones just to really give us that extra depth and dimension. And once most of the product is off of, that, in, of your brush, just start going in circular motions back and forth throughout your crease and then we're gonna go in with this shade right here this is our main shade that we're focusing on I absolutely love this color oh my gosh it's like an, a, a very bronzy with a little hint of gold in my opinion but we're just gonna apply this with a uh, compact flat shader brush and this is actually this brush that I'm using is actually by elf when I first went in, I didn't use anything at all. It was straight, dry products. I didn't like how I, it showed up, so I sprayed my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and then went in that way. Then I'm going to use this brown shade right here. This is a very neutral brown shade. It's really not super cool tone, but it's not warm toned either. It is a little bit more on the cool tone side, which I like, but I'm just going to apply that all over the crease as well and uh, on the outer corner of my lid and really smoke it out and blend it out. And then of course, gotta have that liner. <laughs> so I was just using my L'Oreal Infallible Black Liner. This is one of my all time, 100% hands down favorite drugstore gel eyeliners. It is amazing, never fails me. And then of course the Sigma Liner Brush. I did some serious wingage this day. Um, I went a little bit more intense than I meant to, but you know what? YOLO. <laughs> so I just went with it. Um, and of course, just coating the lashes with mascara. And I actually did that after I did my face or my primer, but um, put the Nivea aftershave men's balm all over my face this really really works amazing and then went in with the boots number seven new primer that i'm using and it was all right um not my absolute favorite but it was okay then of course you know this is just like the basic basic <laughs> some foundation and concealer as always, I will list all of the products that I used down below. Obviously, the Morphe shadows don't have names or anything because their palettes are, they, they're not made with their individual shadows because they don't like to have double. So, uh, but yeah, I'm just, 
I just applied some concealer to cover up those under eye bags that I have there <laughs> and um, to highlight as well. And I just, I really like to use my beauty blender lately. I have really been reaching for that rather than a brush. I was using brush for a good while there, but I have been back to my beauty blender, my, my old faithful. <laughs> I absolutely love them. I think I have like a million backups and you can actually see two real techniques in the background. <laughs> now here I'm just setting my under eyes and anywhere that I put a little anywhere that I place that concealer to highlight my face. I am setting this with the Urban Decay HD powder and then I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and just bronze up and contour my face and I'm just I speed up some of these processes just because I really don't think that it's necessary to watch me contour for like five minutes or whatever not that it actually takes me five minutes but just saying <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead do my brows and I I've been experimenting with my brows again I am I haven't really changed up the shape it's just not as it flows more than it had than having a super angle like it used to I used to really like that sharp angle but I almost kind of like that more of a nice natural flow to my brow now this is the pixie liner in black noir and so far, this is, was only the second time using it, but since then I've actually used it a few times. So far, this is one of my favorite black liners. And from the drugstore, you can get this at any Target. It's amazing. Then I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here. It's a little bit more on the warmy side. It's really a, a, a really nice neutral brown as well, but it's like a true neutral and I'm just going to really pack that on to that lower lash line right up there to my lower lashes and then I was blended it out with the first and second shades from the 35O palette that I used and then the only shade that I didn't use from this palette was to highlight so I use this from the MAC uh, warm neutrals palette that came out a couple of months ago and I think I'm going to be doing a some more looks on those two palettes the warm neutral and the cool neutral palettes if you guys want to see those please list, let me know down below this is just a Sonia Kashuk blush I cannot remember the name of it but I will leave it linked or I will leave the name down below and then of course going in with champagne pop it is gorgeous. I honestly, like, I very rarely don't use Champagne Pop to highlight. That's, like, my go-to now. And I really need to go purchase another one before it's, like, gone, gone forever. Then just setting the brows with the Anastasia Brow um, Gel, which I actually have never used before. And I love it. I know what people have been talking about now. And then, of course... Kat Von D Lolita this has become my ultimate favorite liquid lipstick I wasn't sure if I was gonna like her liquid lipsticks or not because my lips are really dry but as long as I moisturize my lips throughout my makeup I'm totally fine and this is my favorite color ever but that is it for this makeup tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time don't forget wake up in makeup bye